Hey guys, these are the new computer parts. Um, this is my dog. She's kind of confused why I'm standing in the kitchen for the first time in forever. And uh, she's currently eating packaging materials. Uh, this is the parts that are going to go into my computer. Full disclosure, GeForce did send me this uh, GTX 1080 Ti um, to uh, include in this video. So full, full disclosure on that one. But i uh, got a free video card. That's pretty cool. Thanks to them. Um, everything else I purchased. Um, I haven't actually built a PC in a while, but I'm going to go with Horizon. This has a lot of cores or some shit, and uh, it's um, gonna allow me to possibly, probably stream in 1080p, pretty much no matter all, uh, pretty much all the time. So I'm looking forward to that, and uh, be able to make all my content 1080p. This is my secondary hard drive. It's gonna have two terabytes. Got this little thing that looks like a RAM stick, but it's actually a hard drive apparently. And I'm surprised because I haven't used a hard drive that didn't look like this in a long time. So it's a SSD. It has uh, 500 gigabytes. This is what I'm gonna put the main parts of the the main software of the PC on. Got RAM sticks, 32 gigabytes. I got um, it's my power supply, 750 watts, Corsair. My motherboard is a ROG Crosshair 6 Hero motherboard. Asus ROG, I forgot that's what it's called. And this is my cooler. It, I don't know why the box is so giant, and those two things are fans. So, oh, and then my case is a, uh, shoot, what's it called? Uh, fractal design, I forgot. Um, anyways, uh, thanks to Pimp for helping me put this together. He basically picked out all the parts, and then I bought them, and then they sat here on a table for a while, and uh, finally ready to put things together. So, gonna gonna start working on that now. Hopefully, I don't mess this up. All right, this is my motherboard. If you guys haven't built a computer before, this is kind of like the thing that most things connect to. Full disclosure: I am not I'm not a computer expert. I don't know that much about computers. Um, so I'm gonna probably say a bunch of shit wrong. I'm just gonna give you the best I got, which is uh, this is where you plug a lot of stuff into. That's why you see all these like slides and things like that. I'm hoping that these little things here. Oh god, that's not where my finger is. Um, these little things here are where I plug in my hard drive or something, but I don't really know. Normally you plug in hard drives through like SATA cables. Do people still do that? What year is this? 2017? I don't know. I don't know why it looks like a transformer, but. Uh, looking forward to this. This is usually like where your video card goes. This is right here. This is where your processor goes. You don't want to touch that because it, like every single one of those holes is important. All those little pins and stuff like that. So my, my cooler with pro processor will go down there. It's like a flat chip. And then the cooler goes on top of it. It's giant and bulky to try to keep the processor cooled down. Video card's going to go here. Um, usually you'll have your hard drive be somewhere separate and then they just plug in somewhere. But like these right here might be like data pins or you can look at the manual. Luckily I used to take electronics classes so you can like, I don't know if this can actually focus or not, but if you look at all the little numbers and then in the names, it's all it's very explicitly marked. So if you look over here, it'll say what they are and then you can read the manuals for the motherboard and I'll tell you what those pins do. And that should give you the information you need to actually put stuff in it. I don't know why there's an on off switch, don't know what that means, but I'm sure I can basically look up all the stuff in the manual and luckily I'm decent enough at electronics that I can probably figure this all out. So uh, let's let's dive into it. Ah uh, yes, a PCI Express slot. This makes sense. That start button, it's called the, the power on button. Yeah. So this is the innards of my fractal case. It's pretty nice. It has a nice little lever here to get the, uh, the case off a little easier. So where my power supply is going to go um, this is where I'm going to put my 15 hard drives, if needed, um, CD-ROM, any of that weird shit that nobody uses anymore, but I don't know about you guys, but I actually really recommend getting a CD-ROM drive, but as a USB. I have one in my closet that I use whenever I need one, it's just very simple. Um, USB drive, CD drive, that way I don't have to buy a new one every computer, I just leave it in my closet and pull it out the few times the year that I use it, so really recommended. And I don't know, you can store like hats in here or something, scarves, I'm not sure, don't do that. Um, and then this is where main hard drives go, I'm guessing. I oh, know this is like for the ejectable solid state bay things or something, but I'm not really gonna use that because my hard drive, which I've now taken out of its case, is tiny. This thing just fits right onto the motherboard. It like plugs in and I put a screw in over here. I read the manual. And then my other one, so I guess really the only thing I'm gonna install over here is my secondary hard drive, my two terabyte, which is normal size. So I'm gonna put in the power supply and the two terabyte hard drive now. No, oh, and two fans. So I just took the power supply on and it came with this cool carrying case in case I ever need to like bring my power supply cable somewhere cool. 
I don't know why there's so many. Maybe they're just like, hey, well, you spent a lot on your power supply, you can buy like a shit one. So we're gonna give you any of the cables that you might possibly need in the history of time to make your computer function. But here's the, the actual important one. This is like your your, your standard, this uh, plugs into your um, motherboard and these other two pieces. Basically it's a, this plugs into my, this side I think plugs into my power supply and then these two will go onto my motherboards. This is just really, really a lot of cables. I don't know if I'll use them all. Oh, and they had the fattest manual I've ever seen. Look at this. For a power supply, how complicated does it get? Oh, it's got every single... I got five power supply, high performance manuals for free. That's awesome. All right, putting the power supply in. It's got four little screws that came with it. Should be pretty easy. So I just got one of my hard drives ready. These uh, little white things all slide out. Hard drives have gotten a lot easier over the years. You can just kind of pull on this and pull this out like a slide. And then you can just attach your hard drive to it and put it back in where you want it to go. Very easy, really convenient. And it's, it's locked in there pretty secure. So what you can do is I basically slid my hard drive in. I attached it to the base of these four screws and then I can just take it, slide it right in where it needs to be. Nice and lonely. Um, I think there's a way, yeah. And then if you want it extra secure, I can take a screw and put it in here to ensure that even if these slide things end up coming out, that uh, my hard drive won't come out. So I'm definitely gonna put a screw through here because I'm probably never gonna change this and uh, wanna make sure that it doesn't fall out when I'm, uh, who knows, maybe if I'm transporting my PC or something or it's in a car and it bounces up and down, who knows. Honestly, the, the more that I look at this case, the more impressed I get. It has these, uh, uh, modular casings that can come off so I've got two fans I'm gonna put in now um, and I may end up putting them on the top they look like they have uh, screws for both this uh, size fan as well as a larger um, it mentions some stuff about water cooling on them as well but they actually just slide like right on they latch into place to my knowledge oh, and if I want to get those out I just have to put my hand on here and like pull like on a little tab like this and it'll pop right out really easy actually very cool. So if I want like more airflow in my computer, I can do this. Um, I may, I'm not sure what best, best is, but, but I've got two fans to install, so I'll probably end up using at least one of these. Um, I know one important thing is that when you're installing fans, that you make sure that the fan blade goes the correct way. So if you look at the ones that's already installed, for example, the fat area is this way, I guess. So that means if I take this fan, I don't want to put it inside my case and have it counteract that, like blowing fan air into, into it. Usually you want your air going one direction to my knowledge. So I want the air to come in the back and then I want it to filter out through the front of the case, which again, very impressed with this case. This door opens up, very cool. Apparently I can set it to latch over here as well as the left, so I can open it. I can have it open left or right, depending on like what your house setup is. And if we take the panel off here, which was, I found very easy, Ooh, more fans. So this is the other fan in the case. So I want to make sure that the air ends up blowing from this direction out towards where I'm standing. Um, I'm probably going to mount at least one of my fans here, uh, assuming it fits. Because so you've had me buy two more for whatever reason. I'm going to take to assume. This looks like it's going to fit no problem. It's not going to color match quite as beautifully, but it's definitely important to have lots of fans. That way the computer stays cool, and as a result, the fans don't have to work hard as hard. That's the assumption, but I mean, considering that I have a whole lot of nothing in here, Shouldn't be that big of a deal to make sure I have lots of airflow. Pretty cool stuff. I also found there were some like secret SSD spots over here. Um, that's what I said on the box at least, but um, won't be using that. But still, gonna install some fans now. All right, first problem. Um, so I was trying to screw these in. There's, they sit in here, there's a little hole uh, in, the, in the chassis or whatever you wanna call it that it screws into. The problem I just realized after trying to screw this in for like three minutes or something is the screws that came with, unfortunately, do not go deep enough. They're like barely squeaking out of the end and it's not quite flush here. So to solve this problem, I would have to take a drill most likely and I would have to drill a little bit of space here, like on this side, that way the tapered edge of this screw would actually fit in and set it's flat. Um, but I think what my other solution is gonna be is I'm gonna take the fan, I'm gonna carefully slide it into place, and then what I'm gonna do is just put this fucking cover on it. Get in there. Just put this fucking cover on it and call it a day. 
All right, so I got another idea. Um, took all the little slides out of this here. This is the area right behind the fan. Take all these out, unscrew these two screws. And once I finish doing that, hopefully the screws will not fall out. Okay, there are more screws. Um, so basically what this like large thing is, this is what you mount your things to. When I first built a PC by myself for the first time, these things gave me a huge headache because I had to unscrew them every time that I wanted to fit in my video card because the computer I bought back then was like, the video card was so long, they don't only fit in some sections, so I had to kind of keep adjusting this. I was kind of hoping I could just pull this out easily. Unfortunately, it's extra on lockdown. There's looks like there's some screws that are on the bottom, so I'd have to take off the bottom plates to unscrew the screws here that are holding this in, which would give me access to the back of the fan, which might make screwing this in easier. Uh, I might mess with this later. Once again, the case continues to be amazing. This is like a little mesh grill here that I can use to collect dust, aka all of Tango's dog hair that she doesn't want anymore. This slides right out, and now I'm at the bottom of that thing I was just looking at. And what I'm gonna do now is unscrew these four holes to remove that system to hopefully find a different way to screw in a screw to make sure the fan doesn't move or make noise. All right, so I moved most of the screws here, but it's actually still attached to something, and I realized that it's structurally attached to the bottom plate here to make it more structurally sound which is pretty cool, but the problem is that my screwdriver doesn't fit in there. So, uh, I guess I gotta take the bit out, and uh, this is my new screwdriver. I'm not strong enough, it didn't work. So after realizing I couldn't actually get that other thing to move out of the way because I didn't have a short screwdriver, I realized that doing that wouldn't have solved any problems anyways. And then I tried the screw another time, and then I realized I just wasn't pushing hard enough. So uh, yeah, let's fix this. Uh, I could only get one of the fan one of the screws to actually fit in, so we're gonna have a it's gonna be a one screw fan until I get a knife that I feel like using to chisel out plastic, a longer screw, or uh, stop being lazy. One of those things. So I just watched some YouTube videos about fans, and uh, apparently I had it backwards. The way that the air will flow will be where the sticker side is. So this fan here is actually pushing air to the back out of the computer and that the ones in the front will gather air and push it to this area. So, and uh, this one down here must be pushing air down technically onto the power supply, which makes sense, right? That should have been obvious because it's trying to cool all the con electronics components in here. Um, so, uh, I may end up taking that fan that I dicked around with in the front and end up just putting both on the top. Because I watched this simulation that was pretty cool and obviously heat rises because uh, I, I didn't think about that too clearly. So maybe I should just double up the fan on the top instead of the front. Or maybe it's better to get cooler air in the machine. Or maybe it can do one-on-one. Maybe I'll just leave it the way it is. One-on-one. All right, I'll put one up top. All right, putting the fan into position while my dog eats dinner. And check this out. Magnets. How do they work? So after putting in one of the other fans in, I saw that these little screws have these little, like, they have, like, little grinders on them. I don't know. It's hard to see. But it basically, like, cuts some of the plastic. So what I did was I threaded... I basically threaded the plastic, which gave us some space, and I was able to fit a second screw in, so I'm gonna probably do all four now. All right, it is motherboard time. I've got the fans in, one's like middle. I kind of wish it was here, but it didn't quite fit. It was bumping against the other fan, so uh, I guess that'll be fine. I'll just leave that uh, top port open a little bit so the air can get all through there. Should, yeah, it's all open. Uh, okay, motherboard time. Time to mess something up. All right, so um, finally got the motherboard in. Uh, what I ended up doing was I had to put the back end first. This is the part that goes to like USBs and things like that. All these things. Once that fit in, it went a lot better. I had to line up this little spot here with um, the middle of the motherboard. It was like a little bit of a post that'll stabilize it from moving left to right, basically. And then I have to go around and put in screws for all the little circles as well to make sure that those go in soundly and that it doesn't move. And from there, I can move to components, which will be like the processor with the fan on top of it, RAM sticks, uh, video card should go here. And then I'll have to plug in all the like power cords. Um, like this is coming from the fan, this will plug into the motherboard and it'll uh, let the computer know when it's on or the fan know when it's on, supply power cords, stuff like that. And then I just gotta plug in like the power supply cables which will go in here and then plug in right there, I believe. And then I can move to software. All right, so this is my processor box. The cool thing though is that all of this shit doesn't matter. This is my brain. It's a little guy that's gonna go right in there. The rest of this is, uh, is a fan uh, and a heatsink. What you do is this is, uh, processors always come with their own built-in fans and heatsinks, which is what this is, but I'm basically not gonna use it. It's gonna sit in my closet and it'll probably never be used. 
Um, but and but what most people do is they buy their own heatsink and case fan, or heatsink and fan, which is what this is. Um, it's extra money, of course. But it's got a fan in the middle. That's pretty cool. It actually came with an extra fan on top of that. So now I have an extra fan. I just tried to fit it in the top, but it doesn't fit. It like connects with the white fan a little bit. So I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. Look at it, maybe. I'm not sure. So the um, fan problem kind of got solved here. The case makers, they have sliding screws here for this fan. So now I can just rotate it down and put it down here. It's on the top left corner, which is technically best, but if I have another fan right here, it shouldn't matter at all. And now I get more fan power, which means more air blowing to keep everything cool. Can we just take a moment to appreciate the color scheme inside my new computer? All right guys, my brain's in. So the way you put this in is you flip this switch up and then there's a bunch of uh, a bunch of like spikes coming out of the bottom of the chip, and you uh, put the chip down. Make sure you match the little corner up, and then it's pretty heavy actually. I put it in there, uh, flip the lever down, and now we're set. So now we just gotta paste it up, lube it up, so that uh, the heat that's gonna be generated by this thing will be able to seep into the fan, and then the fan will heat sink it into the air, and then my computer will stay cool. All right, uh, just remove the old uh, heat sink brackets and put on the new ones to fit for the third party cooler. All right, I had to change out the um, the uh, setting for the heatsink, so put in the new stuff. I'm gonna put it on now. All right, gonna put some thermal paste on. It looks like a little syringe here. I'm gonna put it right in the middle. Squeeze. Ooh, I'm not showing you anything. You know, maybe I should focus on the thermal paste. It was like that much that I saw in the video. All right, got the heat sink on. It sits right on top of the processor and squishes it in, and I just had to screw the two screws. Now what I can do is take the fan that comes with it and squeeze it in there. And the way that I want it to blow air is up because that's where the other two fans are. So I'm gonna put it in like this, latch it in, and then plug in, and then my processor is pretty much ready to go. It's massive. All right, I gotta put in my RAM next, which is gonna go in these light blue slots under the f heatsink and hopefully it fits okay and I don't have to take the heatsink off because I'm stupid and didn't plan ahead. So one really cool thing about the RAM now is if you look at it, it's actually a little bit longer chip-wise in the middle versus the outsides and that's because I think when I used to put RAM sticks in, like I don't know, 10 years ago I actually had messed around with RAM sticks. All right, just put a bunch of stuff in, um, fit the RAM sticks in, it was super easy actually. I fit the solid state drive in, that one was a little weird because when you put it in, it's at like an angle at first, like just chilling in the air like a, an erection. And then um, I had to find a screw, like a screw base to put it under. So I ended up having this little package that was included that said it was for a, a 3D printer. So I just used that and said it worked. It's in. Well, we are currently plugging in cables. Um, I know you can't see very well, but um, just plugged in my hard drive here. Um, plugged in lots of the power supply. I still need to plug in the power cable of the fan and maybe a couple other ones. So I'm basically down to pin work now, which is like all these little pins on the bottom of the board. So gotta look at the, the charts now and then I should be pretty much done hardware wise. Assuming it turns on, who knows? And uh, I plugged in a whole bunch of cables and uh, power's on. It works. It's real quiet. Finally. And if I haven't shown it yet, here's the uh, here's everything complete. It's not on right now, but there is power, obviously. And I had to attach a whole crap load of wires and had a whole bunch of software problems relating to Windows 7 with newer hardware. It doesn't work out very well, so I had to install Windows 10 and then use my Windows 7 key. And so far, it seems to be working. So this is pretty much it. Going to close her up and then uh, swap her into my room.